sacred these days. I'll bloody crown them when I get hold of them. What have they been up to this time? Oh, you might well ask. I mean, it's not much to expect, is it? I mean, you tell them that the spare room is out of bounds. You find one corner in the place that you can get a bit of peace. And what happens? Guess where these have took themselves. Uh, what are they? Condoms. No, oh, give them off. <laughs> Where have we failed, Frankie? I mean, what sort of behaviour do you call this? Frankie, the evidence is staring us in the face. Our house has been turned into a knocking shop. My space has been violated. Oh, hang on, Pauline. We shouldn't jump to any conclusions, you know. Well, how else do you account for it? I put it like that, a ticky point. How else indeed? Yes. Yes. They're growing lads, Paulie. We just have to get used to the idea. Look at her. I think she's never been away. Donna Gale, you must be off your key. Sweating cobs while Gordon the organ's got his feet stuck up at home. <laughs> what? The man of <laughs> leisure like your chunky, you mean? <laughs> Don't mention that chunky to me. The bloody mong brain. Slopes in last night and only tells us. Gotcha. Give over. <laughs> <laughs> it's magicians at kiddies parties with that knocked off pipe. Got <laughs> help the kids. Hey, I'm gone. Mouths closed is the Fjorda. Slight concern about these production figures. Why? Wow, what's wrong with them? Well, we promise it's order by the end of next week. <laughs> Look, it, it's a one-off. But if we come good, they might well put other jobs our way. Right. I have a meeting in town at 12. Can I leave you in charge, Bernie? <laughs> Not had any complaints so far, thank you. I'm delighted to hear it. That's a lippy little madam if ever I met one. Well, I think she's doing a great job. I mean, she's held this place together. I think she's a proper little entrepreneur. Proper little madam, if you ask me. Little lending tears, you mark my words. Right, ladies. Let's get our backsides into gear. Marked urgent, don't forget. What gets me is I've never known an order that wasn't marked urgent, but I'm still none the wiser to know it. Cheer up, pet. Haven't they told you? Making spare parts for extra sets since we stuffed the Belgrano. Well, what are we making? I think we have a right to know. Our Avril's just shifted to Renfrew's right, and she's sold in bloody Star War missiles. So what? Pays you wages. I just stick in these bits of plastic. I don't sit with my finger on the button. No, love. You just sold her the bloody triggers. If it wasn't us, love, there'd be a queue halfway to bloody Moscow for our job. Well, I don't know about anyone else, but um, I'm not sure I want to be involved with that sort of product. Oh, much as that little madam narks me, it's not her sort of trick. Bernie, mate, somebody better find out what the trick is. Because I'm not going to sizzle my gizzards out until I find out what the sweats are made of. It's some kind of early warning system for, for, for something. There you are. I told you. Everybody's getting into it these days. Hey, 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 is this is this official action, Pauline? I think you know my views on acts of violence and weapons of aggression, Bernie. We shall work to rule, but we shan't be breaking our necks. Right, ladies. That's your attitude. Some of us know which side our ghetto is frosted. This isn't going to blow up on us, is it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've traipsed all this way. Aren't you going to tell us? First packet of Kleenex. Down there you go. In the corner. Spare bed in my spare room. Give over. Of course. It's probably just the kids. 
Oh, I And the three bears. I mean, it's only a thought. It's probably my imagination. But I, I know Maureen's been there. I mean, I know that for a fact. But I can't see how Frankie playing away from home. I mean, he did go in for that sort of caper. Well, don't kid yourself. Our dilt says he never stops drooling after at work. Well, that doesn't sound like our Frankie at all. Suit yourself. If I were you, I'd know what I'd be doing. Rag the gingangs off them, Gail. That's all they're fit for. Thought you said it were a tete-a-tete. -tete. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I don't think you've met my sister, have you? Avril. Right. Hello. So come, Ed, then. What's that minty little beggar being up to? Mm, you might well ask. Of course, I've no actual proof. And it's very unlike our Frankie. <laughs> but, on the other hand, he's a very attractive man. I mean, he's had women waiting for him at the pit end before. That's how keen they've been. Oh, aye. And with the guide dogs waiting and all. <laughs> Your Frank is not the type, love. He's a family man. Oh, I don't think he's as innocent as he looks. Our Dill could tell you stories about the works due last Christmas. What stories? I don't think it's my place to say. But if you're curious, you could always mention the words brand up to him. Look, don't go jumping to conclusions. Has he done out to make you suspicious? Has he done anything different than normal? Well... He does seem to be chairing a lot of union meetings lately. Well, there you go. He's walked right in it. Our Dilt were only saying last week he can't remember the last time he had a union meeting. You want to watch him, Gail? He'll make a dickhead out of you. Get him on a leash. Oh, and how the friggin' are supposed to do that? Well, for a start, find out where he's off to tonight. He said something about a um, snooker. Oh, why? That's a good name for him. Hey, your Dilt's going real. That's his cover, Gail. That's his alibi. Oh, no, love, not my Frankie. He's above petty deceit. He is a union leader, you know. Pauline, if you're that curious, there's only one way to find out. <clears throat> Bernie seems to think we have an attitude problem. Is he correct? Only if you think an aversion to wiping out civilization is suspect. I'm sorry, Paul. I'm not quite with you. The girls have got hold of the idea we're manufacturing weapons for World War III. Right. <laughs> Ariadne. Yeah. Will you kindly tell the girls what they're working on at the moment? You've seen the order. Um, early warning systems. Thank you. Baby alarms. You are. It's a new alert system designed to be used in high-risk cases of sudden infant death syndrome. Cot death? Not exactly like declaring war on Moscow, is it? What? Baby alarms. Well, that's changed your tune. Model blackmail? You've got to watch it. She's a snidey one, that. Now, that's the one thing I can't stand. It's being deprived of my right to sky. <laughs> didn't mean me walkie-talkie lying about, did I? <clears throat> oh, come there, it'll do you good. All our fresh air, look at your juices flowing. No, I'm not really in the mood for it, thanks, Queen. He's not still playing that game, is he? Keeping you two parts glued. Queenie. I'm cracking up. He notices now, he? He is now. I'm all oh, he says now. Selfish guessing. How long is he going to keep on lashing yet? Oh, I think he's enjoying the game far too much to call it a day just yet. Good luck, love. Good one. Knackered if he finds out. Well, he won't find out, will he? And that will come in handy. Oh, night, Bernie. Hey, right then. How about you? The thing is, well, you see, I'm meant to be at training. Oh, Simon. Position 730, sharp. Alpha Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> Quebec, bravo. <laughs> He's not guilty, I bet you're a fiver. Have a good weekend. Mm. 
Trout. Hey, you can always change your mind, you know. It beats rusks and nappy liners. Yeah, I know, Queenie, but Gordon's had a tough week. He'll be on his knees when I get home. Oh, you lucky bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. Well, that we're off. See you later. Behave yourself, you. Oh, you know me. Taking any chances? <sighs> Alpha Foxtrot to Juliet Bravo. Are you reading me? Juliet Bravo to Alpha Foxtrot, receiving you. Over. Commence operations. Over. Roger. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be with Klepto. Where's she going to for Queenie? Get in. What's make do with you here? Oh, give over. I can't be wearing that. Oh, don't stand there gawking. Get them on. They're on the way. Yeah, but what was this? Off. Don't I know you from somewhere? Don't think so. I do. Yeah, I You're from the telly. Don't be ridiculous. Not going already? I'm afraid so. But I tell you what, the dog track's next door, and if you've got five minutes going, Gash, I'm sure they could fit you up with a spare trap. <laughs> Bastard. It's not bloody sacrosanct nowadays, you know that. You're not there. Hey, she looks like two eggs in handkerchief. Oh, it looks like two kids fighting in a blanket. Bloody travesty, <laughs> that is. Bloody cloth will get ripped to bugger it. Oh, I flew to what? Hey, you. Sod off. Right. Jesus Christ, you ought to get put down once you hit 30. 25, mate. After that, they're all flab and varicose veins. Right, show sure break. And by your men And when he thinks he loves you So never let him go away What do you reckon then? Well, looks all quiet on the western front to me I think he's in clear Well I he would Well he has come where he said he would And he is with your dog Oh for what that's worth Well should we check with Alpha Tango then? Cheer up, love. We'll have his cockles yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I say, you do know I don't go for all this stuff, you know. I mean, it's not good for me, image, is it? Oh, yeah. What about mine? Can you look? He's as clean as a whistle. And I must say, it's only what I expected. Oh, well, let's get these bitches off in the bed, you see. Seen enough for one night. Oh, you're right. 
What can he do on a friggin' snooker table? A lot. We want to save ourselves for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Dead right, love. We're gonna hunt this one right to the bloody finish. Is your uh, dad taking you to the football this afternoon? <sighs> well, is he? Yeah, it's going to be well wicked. They've got this new player from Portadown, and everyone says he's going to wipe Gibson off the park. Ooh, that does sound picturesque. I hope she's not coming at all. And who's she when she's at home? Rosie. She knows stuff all about football. Well, you'll just have to make allowances for her then, won't you? No. I beg your pardon? I don't want to. I don't like her. Well, you used to like her, didn't you? No, I didn't. You just said be polite. So I am polite. We didn't say I had to like her. No, that's true. In fact, there's nothing I could say I couldn't hate you if I wanted to. And do you hate her? Usually. Hey, love. Oh, God, I'm knackered. I've traipsed around that Arndale since half past nine and I'm still half my list missing. Hiya, Shaz. Anything special? Oh, a few bits for me holidays and a couple of outfits for the weekend. Hey, don't tell them, though. It goes mad if I use my credit cards. What do you reckon? I've got this for tonight and this for tomorrow dinner. Ooh. Somewhere special, is it then? No, not really. They can whistle tonight and uh, Sunday lunch at the Burnet. Mm. Anything else? Oh, a few bits and pieces. New earrings, Are we right then? glasses, two pairs of shoes and... Uh, Karen, uh, do you want to go to the football with your dad this afternoon? Why don't you nip back into town with Rosie? You've still got your grand's birthday money to spend. Oh, could we, love? I've masses to get for Tenerife and we go in six weeks. Hey, you better get a move on then, before they sell out of beach wear. <laughs> See you later then, eh? <laughs> they put Kane here at number 11. He's going to splatter their defence. Been treating yourself. Right, uh, I'm off the speedway. No. Yeah. I hope they win. Good oh, and uh, Baker Mark Sprout Wings. I'm straight out afterwards. Uh, kids are off to the pictures. I've left them some money on the back table. I'll be in after last orders. You're going out, aren't you? Our Avril's treating us to bingo. I'll be in about eleven. But don't rush. Oh, I mean, uh, enjoy yourself. Um, yes. You and all love. Over, Avril, will you give over? Stop messing. Mm. Do you want him to recognise you? <laughs> don't ask me what I'm doing here. Queenie says it was a crisis. It had better be. Hey, I don't need to be here neither, you know. <sighs> I'm an artiste now. Fully paid up card carrying member of the magic circle, me. Oh, yeah. Well, wave your bloody magic wand and get us out of this palaver then. Oh my god. 
Few farts, the old burp, stuffing themselves with pork pies. F in this, F in that, then pissed in some poor bastard's pocket. Yes, it was rather not pleasant, actually. Yeah, but there was no sign of a bird. Hey, yeah, what did I tell you? From nothing. That's it. Come on, not go home you. now. Oh, oh yeah, yeah come let's on, go let's go home. No, we're not going home. We're nearly there. Oh, there he is. Oh, you. Look after him. What? This could be it. Hello? Is that your love? Listen, are you still on for tonight? No, no, no. Our place, it's all sorted. She's gone out with Avril and the kids are at the pictures. I just wish I could say I didn't feel so guilty. No, that's uh, not your problem. Right, dear, 
Let's see eight o'clock then. Right, love. I'll see you later. Oh, I imagine you've won then. Oh, yeah. just about. United! 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 Oh, United. Hiya, love. Any tea going? Oh, God, I'm shattered. Hey, I just treated myself. Do you like it? What is it? It's an 18 karat gold nail. Isn't it gorgeous? And how much did they rob you for that? Oh, only 28 quid. How much? Well, I could have got gold plate, but it's not the same, is it? Cheap jewellery don't agree with me. <laughs> hey, look what I've treated your shaz to. Is it all right, ma'am? No. No, it is not all right. I don't know how old you think she is, Rosie, but at your age, I thought you might have a bit more sense. Oh, keep them on for the time being, but by Monday morning, that muck comes off. Well, she can't do that. Fifteen quid I paid for them. Well, you have more money than sense, then. All right, all right. She didn't mean out, did she? She didn't think you'd fly for a bloody perch about it. Correction, she doesn't think full stop. Oh, get your stuff. Are we not stopping? I've earned the rest. I can do without bloody cat fights wrecking me weekend. But what's he got a mad head on for? I'll see you, love. Oh, let's have a look at him. I'm sorry, Mum. I told you you wouldn't like it. <laughs> oh, it's not you I'm cross with. Is it because of us, Mum? Is that why he's gone and got her? He's still a kid, your dad. I just fancied a, a new toy. The question is, what's to do now? God knows. The kids to sort out, the factory to settle. I'll survive somehow. His nib's doing a stone now, excuse me for saying. But I think he's done you a favour. You know, Bernie, I think you're probably right. I know what I prescribe. A bit of the old space and fresh air, room to please yourself. Yeah, the kids just evaporate, I suppose. <laughs> you could always leave them with me. What, you and Nancy? Nancy's off to New Zealand this afternoon. Stopping with our Eileen for a month. Thank you, Bernie. I really appreciate the gesture, but... Well, I've got Mrs Fudge next door. She minds him now and then, and I'll be OK. Actually, Bernie, I won't be all right. I think any minute now I'll treat myself to a nervous breakdown. <laughs> That's the stuff. So, when do we start? Is he nice, ma'am? Well, you'll see for yourself in a minute. Is he coming here? Is he coming to get you? What's he like? What should I say to him? Well, say what you like. He won't bite. You'll be lucky to get more than two words out of him. Is that a black car, ma'am? Is it an Audi? I think he's here, ma'am. Has he got brown hair, ma'am? Is he young? About 25. Well, would you like to go downstairs and let him in? No, Nicky's downstairs. I'll wait for you. Hello, uh, uh, you must be Nikki. Um, <laughs> is it one minute? Nikki? Since when do we leave people standing on the doorstep? I'll uh, just get me bag. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, uh, do you want to come in?
you must be Sharon. That's right. This is my brother, Nick, here. All right. Mum! Mum! I've touched him! He shot me hand. Why didn't you never say? Eddie Beak is going to wet himself. You sign this. We put to Nicky. Nicky? What do you think you're playing at? Oh, Mummy was totally brilliant. His second goal was out of this world. I beg your pardon? You should have said, you should have told me. What was it like when that free kick went in? My dad says it was a fluke. <laughs> well, your, uh, your dad was right. <laughs> right, well, I think we'd better be on our way then. Hey, you, behave yourself for Sharon. Is he coming again? Where are your nanas? Can I tell me dad? Can I tell Shane Vickers? You can stay here and calm down. We'll discuss it tomorrow morning, right? See ya. think it mattered. Oh, I see. You didn't think it mattered to tell me what you did for a living. We've been going out for four weeks together. I wanted to tell you, but I just thought it would get in the way. Oh, no, no. I think I'm seeing some homesick bacon wrap, and he, he turns out to be God's gift to match of the day. That's I didn't tell you I knew, I knew it would make a difference. You can shovel shit or stuff sausages for all I care. What I mind is hearing from a 12-year-old what I should have heard four weeks ago from you. That night I saw you in the nightclub. Oh. You just looked so beautiful. Christ, you looked amazing. <laughs> I just... I just thought you'd think that was a big, big joke. <laughs> Sorry, I'm <I'm> sorry. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, you know, what else don't I know? Um, <laughs> criminal record, congenital lunacy. <laughs> well, there is something. Oh, what? <laughs> well, it'll, it'll keep. Right then, what do you want to do? Catch him at it or nab him before he gets his kecks off? Before I'd have said, there's no point making things worse. Yeah. Well, you know what they're like. Unless you catch him at it, they'll deny the law. She's right, though. We can't rag him without the evidence. I say we'll leave it an hour. Give him time to get it. to get stuck in it. <laughs> As it were. And then we go in there. Oh, what's up? I don't know why. I just... I mean, I know he's up there. You just I don't want to see him out here. Give up, oh, love. The bloke's a bastard, and the sooner you accept that, the better. He'll have no such delicacy about you, believe me. He probably calls you something rotten to her. Oh. 
Our oh, Dilk says he's always making cracks about your stretch marks. Oh, I. Apparently, he tells people he got more lines than a friggin' weather map. <laughs> right. I'll love him for that. <laughs> 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 you busted. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, 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 Oh, Christ! Oh, Christ! Oh, Oh, Christ! 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 Oh,
You look after your little brother, darling, okay? and downs. Oh, come on, you kidding? What about your mates? All the good crack we've had going, eh? I'll miss you. You'll oh, weep for us, Gail. Don't do it. Queenie, the decision is made. I've put the house on the market. We've got a friend's caravan at Blackpool that we can borrow while we're looking for houses. I've given him my notice this morning. comes out of hospital tomorrow and you'll need me with him. It's a crucifixion job. It's a trap. Probably. Look, it's not impersonal, but it makes a man a lovely garden now. Why should you end up with a load of scrap or a mental concrete, eh? Because I said so. It's the new shift, isn't it? Oh, customer. I'll still be here for you, you know. You always were, love. So you said, if you're going to ditch us with loads of barnacles and some sticks at rock, there's still one thing we can do for you. What's that?
show my face to that lot after we've seen the size of it. Don't no worry, Queenie, we won't take him to Christmas. I need to take him to the reason. Take him! Hey, I've heard this one. That's his wife, said she'd never seen such an awesome sound. Hey, Oh, 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 how do you want to stop Kate? Where's the 